Today is August 6, 2012, and we're here to do a video for priority units 19818 and 19802. Uh, 19802 is the fill between the walls of building 80 and building 76. And uh, unit number 19818 is, was a cluster that was contained within the fill. Uh, 19818 was declared a priority unit because of the nature of the artifacts that were found, um, including a number of articulated animal bones and a few important or characterful obsidian pieces, as well as uh, charcoal flecks that were in a very good shape and condition. Uh, based on the analysis that we received from the labs, it seems that the fill between, the uh, between these two walls was an intentional primary deposit instead of a secondary, um, secondary one. The Chipstone Lab uh, informs us that there were two uh, pieces of obsidian especially that uh, lend to this interpretation, and that was a large scraper that was found in the cluster, as well as a reduced projectile. Uh, Tristan Carter describes these as characterful pieces that, um, that are associated with important events in a building's life, such as its closing. Um, as for the animal bones, there were a number of articulated bones in there, including an auric-sized mandible, as well as a number of articulated sheep and goat-sized bones. The archaeobotany team um, decided to declare 19802 a priority unit as well to be able to analyze the flotation that came with it. And with that, they found the typical domestic seeds that you usually find here at Chital, such as lentils. And um, a special find within that was a juniper bead that they also found within the fill. As for the ground stone, there were a number of pieces of ground stone, two of which stood out. Were, um, they were two polishing stones, and the presence of those polishing stones also indicate that this was a primary uh, deposit. Uh, as for the animal bones, there was very little gnawing or chewing on the bones by um, other animals or trampling, and so uh, the lack of these signs again indicate that this was in an intentional deposit within, between these two walls.